Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to create a scenario selection map for your custom campaigns that looks just like one you could find in the official campaigns of Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. The example code I show in this tutorial will be available for download in the description so you can use it and modify it for your own purposes. So first of all, a rough structure of your code you need. We got the background, which is the historical map itself. And then there are the widgets, which are the different icons or buttons you need to click on to select a scenario to play, and children of those widgets, which in this case display the names of set scenarios. I will now explain what you can type in there and which values you can modify within certain parameters to change their appearances according to your liking. Starting with the most basic component, the background material. You see that in this case I used the map of the Genghis Khan campaign, by typing in campaign background 04 Genghis Khan. You could use the map of any other campaign as well here, you just need to know the according number. For that, please take a look at this list. From the challenge missions over to the Attila campaign to the new ones from Lords of the West, everything can be selected there. So if you, for example, would want to get the Bari map as a background, you would type in campaign background 12 Bari. Now that this is done, I will talk about the individual buttons themselves. What you see here is quite a bit of code, but basically it's the same thing repeated over and over again for each different case. Like having the button's appearance while it is normal, while you hover the mouse over it, or while you press it. The graphic will slightly alter to give the player the required feedback. So to select an icon of your choice to represent the different scenarios in your campaign, you need to type in like here campaign icon, then add the number and name of the chosen campaign and add either normal, hover or pressed to the end to cover the three different states a button can be in. Now about the button's locations. You got an X and a Y coordinate, but they do not work as you would necessarily expect them to. I took quite a bit to figure this out myself. The coordinates of an icon can be between X0 and Y0 to the top left corner of the screen and X 3500 and Y 1750 in the bottom right corner. You have to be a little bit careful here, as if you select coordinates outside those numbers, it can happen that the icon is not appearing on screen as it is out of bounds of the displayable areas. You can also change the color of the scenario's name as the text color part here suggests. But you need to pay attention to do that in the child widgets section. There are four variables to pay attention to here. R, G, B and A. R, G and B let you select the amount of red, green and blue in your color and A decides the uh, opacity or transparency of the text. All those values have to be between 0 and 225. In case of opacity, 255 means fully visible and 0 means completely invisible. For the colors as well, of course, 0 means none of that color, 255 means the maximum amount of that color. In this case here, I used 80, 50, 10 for the colors to get a kind of uh, beige brownish result and an opacity of 255. Depending on the background, a dark blue or green maybe could look best, but that is in the end all up to personal preference. For text, you now just have to add the name of your mission and you're good to go. Keep in mind that this does not necessarily need to be the same name as the scenario file in the campaign has, just whatever you think works best for the screen. Now that we've got one button done, you can feel free to add as many as you like, though keep in mind that the maximum number of displayed buttons is of course limited by the number of scenarios in the campaign. To add additional buttons, you need to make sure that there is a comma dividing the different buttons and then copy one of the existing buttons, so like this, but also you need to make sure that actually you copy everything, so from this bracket here to this bracket there, and also make sure if you add a new button uh, you can't have multiple buttons with the same name, so if you add another button here, the next one would be called Scenario Button 3. And then you can, of course, edit all of the values I just talked about, the uh, the icons, 
the color of the text and the position according to your liking. So now that you got this file nicely set up, where do we need to put it? Well, the answer to this is a little bit unintuitive, but you basically need to create a local mod, even if you do not intend to publish it. Then recreate the same path you would usually put a campaign file in. So that is resources underscore common campaign. If you have any more questions about the folder structure, please take a look at my tutorial about publishing mods for OE2DE in the top right corner. If you got this folder set up, you just need to paste your campaign file and the file you just created, uh, which must be named the same as the campaign with a underscore layout added at the end. And it also needs to be in the .json file format. You can edit those, for example, with Notepad++, which is the software I used in this video. Now you can see there's also a file called the adventures of subutai.json, which includes the information for campaign style intros and outros, but that is something for a different tutorial. So there we are now, eh? This has been uh, so far my most complex and uh, work intensive tutorial. And uh, if you enjoyed it and could take something out of it, I would be delighted if you subscribed to my channel or left a like on the video. If anything is still unclear or confusing, which for a topic like this can very well be the case, feel free to write a comment and I would gladly try to assist you there. I hope you can use this to make your campaigns appear just a little bit nicer and more flavorful and wish you a great day. Until next time, this has been Alcolim. Goodbye.